The next speaker is Mr. Mark Sanchez. Mr. Sanchez's topic also is voters' rights. Good morning to you, City Council members. <clears throat> Good morning to you, Mayor Cook. My name is Pastor Mark Sanchez, and today I come before City Council first and foremost, importantly, as a Christian. I come before you as a father, as a voter, a constituent. The issue of benefits for domestic partners I thought was settled back in November of 2010. It should have been settled when the voters of El Paso voted 55 to 45 percent to keep traditional family values. I stand here before you today to appeal to your sense of loyalty, especially our new council members, Courtney Nyland, Dr. No. Back in November, when this issue was on the ballot, I explained to our eight-year-old daughter, Emily, who's sitting here in our audience, who's a future voter, I explained to her what we were about to do and what we were voting on and why we were voting on it. I explained that it was a privilege and our duty to vote. I explained democracy. Myself and my wife took time from work, unpaid, with Emily, and we went to the voting station we waited in line, we signed in, and voted. Afterwards, we felt a sense of honor, a sense of privilege, a sense of security, knowing that we were taking part in democracy. Earlier this month, ex-city representatives Beth O'Rourke and Rachel Quintana, with city council members Susie Bird, Steve Ortega, and our Mayor Cook, thought differently and stripped, took, stole, and changed the vote of mine and my wife's. These infamous five thought to put their own personal agendas, their personal opinions, in place of democracy. I plead with our new council members, do not follow in these treacherous footsteps. I sat down with Emily and our other two children, December and Dean Sanchez, December is in the audience with us here. And uh, she is also a registered voter at 18 years old. And I explained to him what happened. And our eight-year-old explained to me, and I don't know if you recall, Susie Bird or Mr. Ortega, about the call that we had about two weeks ago. And my eight-year-old explained to me, well, Dad, why do you vote, after I explained to her what had happened, why do you vote if they're going to do what they want to do anyways. And then that's when I sat down, I thought about it, and I explained to my eight-year-old Emily, and I explained to our other two children, and I took out my voter card, and I says, because this gives me the authority to go and recall the people that do not represent us correctly. 